Hi, uh, here we have a 2019 KTM Duke 390. This bike was previously categorized as Cat M for non structural damage. Obviously, it doesn't affect your insurance. The Cat M category for this was it was attempted theft, so the ignition was damaged. Um, so the ignition, fuel cap, and seat lock have all been replaced. Obviously, all do work fine with no issues. Obviously, I'm going to show you around this bike and all the good and bad points about it. Starting you off, nice aftermarket chain sprocket in very good condition, still have plenty of life. Rear tyre, still have plenty of tread. Brake disc and pads are in excellent condition on the rear. It's got the aftermarket tail tidy, the LED indicators all round. Nice small number plate. Pillion foot pegs and seat. The seat does have a slight tear in it, which there is a close up photo on the ad. Engine case on this side, nice and clean. It's got standard rear sets. Full radiator guard in very good clean condition. LED side lights, LED low beam and high beam. Front tire has plenty of tread. Brake disc and pads are in good condition on the front. Nice ABS uh, system. ABS system does work absolutely fine on this. Obviously fairings are in decent condition. Very little marks to it. Underneath here is all clean. Rear shocks in very good condition. Rear swing arms nice and clean. Chain guard and mud guard is in good condition on the rear. LED tail light. There's a nice decal under there, decals across here, and obviously the decals on the fairings themselves. Nice aftermarket end cam. Obviously it does have the standard cat and the rest of the pipe, but it does sound really good like this. Do recommend keeping it like this. When you have it straight pipe, they are very loud. And uh, in my opinion, I bet they do sound nicer like this. Upside down forks are nice and clean. Front mud guard is in very good condition. Obviously headlight unit's clean. Standard indicators on the front. Aftermarket grips, adjustable clutch lever and brake lever. Obviously that brake lever will be replaced uh, by the time this sells. Obviously it does have aftermarket mirrors. Digital dash on this does work absolutely fine. This is the Bluetooth model as well, so you can connect your phone up to it and shuffle through your songs and everything. Obviously rear tail pieces do look in good condition. Just a few general marks from day to day use really. Nothing major at all. Alloys are nice and clean, nice wheel stickers on them. So I mentioned about the engine casing being clean on this side. It does have the full belly pan in good condition. Half and half frame, half white, half orange. It does it really nice. So this is all clean here. Radiator guard on this side is clean. Engine case on this side is neat. I think this all looks really clean here as well. The main seat is in very good condition. Obviously no marks or scratches to that or any wear and tear marks really. Handlebars, obviously standard handlebars, nice and straight. Engine does run smooth on this. Obviously gearbox is smooth. Clutch is a really good biting point. Currently this bike is covered just only 7,000 miles. Obviously if you look after it, it will last you a very long time. It's a very clean bike. Standard, obviously rear sets. It does have like the exhaust, aftermarket grips, the chain and sprocket, the full radiator guard. Obviously a few added extras to it, but one of the nice things with this is obviously the Bluetooth um, function on this bike, which is really nice, and very handy for when you're doing long journeys. The exhaust is clean, We've got standard shifter, but standard shifting as well, side stands clean. Gemini is a very, very neat bike. It's ready to ride away very long MOT but that'll be everything for this 2019 KTM Duke 390. Thank you.